Hi, I'm Shannon from HouseImprovements.com and today's video I'm going to demonstrate this uh, inspection camera. This camera was sent out to us by a company and uh, you know uh, it, it was a gift. We always tell people you can send out whatever you want. I'm going to try it for a while if I like it. You might get a video, you might get an article in the forum, whatever, uh, and that's the case here. Um, so they sent out this camera. Uh, can be used to inspect sewers, conduit, ductwork, pretty well anywhere that you can stick a camera with a cable on, you should be able to use this, wet or dry. Um, I've been playing around with it a little bit and uh, I can definitely see some benefits uh, to my own renovation business and as well to even, uh, even folks who are flipping houses. You know, you could pay for this pretty quickly. You know, in today's age of everybody wants inspections on their sewers and that sort of thing, uh, this this camera in Canada here retails I've seen as high as seven hundred dollars. Uh, when you think about a two to four hundred dollar cost to have somebody come in and, and do an inspection for you and uh, give you that recording, uh, you know, a couple flips and you got this thing paid for. And there's going to be a million other things I think that you'll find that you'd use it for. So, anyways, uh, I just want to run through some of the basic features of this this unit it's all all one unit which is nice I really like that so everything comes as you see um, it's pretty compact like really it's got a good hard case so you can throw this in the back seat of the truck and not worry about it getting damaged really uh, some are a little more you know the screen isn't protected that sort of thing so they're not quite as as uh, robust I guess so anyways they did send us this out um, they're not paying us to do a review. I'm going to give you my likes and dislikes about it uh, here in a few minutes. But first, let's just have a look at the unit itself. So as you've seen, it's in the stand. It'll stand up on its own. It's well, well weighted, well balanced. But when you're using it, it's going to be used in this type of position. Okay. So they've got a, a clip here that basically keeps the spool from turning when, you, when you're not wanting it to turn. Okay. Your camera's in here right in here. Oops, let me just turn this bit. Just got to get it out of there. That's the one thing I found a little clumsy with it. Once you've got it out and started, it's good to go. So you've got a color camera, LED lighting. Uh, I've put this protector on it, which this unit comes with. Uh, so when I'm pushing it through places, it just keeps it up off the surface a little bit and uh, protects the edge of the camera. It's all stainless steel. It's kind of got a spring end in it so you can get around corners and stuff a little easier. Inside the box here is all your your controls and your uh, viewing. So there's a few different things. This is like a sunshade that you could put up here if you're using it outside. I haven't used it outside yet but it comes with that so you can help you see the screen. There's some instructions. There's a bag of goodies here. Uh, this you could you could actually remove this protector that I put on and put this one on with the wheels. So if you're going inside, a, I don't know what that is, about a three inch diameter pipe or bigger, this would just keep it up off the bottom a little bit. I haven't actually used those um, at all. I've just put this protector on and it seems to be fine. Uh, comes with another little kit with, there's some caps in there and I, at first I thought they were, they were caps for the to protect the lens, but there's not a big enough cap that covers that lens. So I'm not real sure. Maybe when you take this all, unscrew it, maybe they're caps for the end of the air. I'm not too sure. A little screwdriver for mounting these accessories. But it basically comes with all that. There's a charging cord there. And then inside, oops. Actually, I can lift it out. I don't know why I'm lifting the whole thing. Inside here is the basically the main controls and the battery. So there's a charging port, an on off switch. There's a dial here to adjust the brightness of the LEDs. All your cable connections uh, for video and, and everything are right there. So there is a display here when you turn it on. It tells you that you've got power. It gives you a battery uh, indicator. They say that it'll last, I haven't used it this long, but uh, they say that it'll last about eight hours, which is pretty darn good, really. So um, I'd have to believe them. I haven't ran it that long continuously. Okay, so that all fits in there. Now I'll just turn that on. And I don't want to, cameraman doesn't want to be on TV, so I'll make sure the camera isn't facing him. 
Uh, so I've turned on the unit here. I'm going to power up the screen. It's a 9-inch LCD screen, not LED. It's an LCD screen, so pretty decent quality. But you can see it's got a pretty good quality camera, uh, especially at a close-up distance. You know, uh, that pegboard over there is six feet away from the camera, and it's, it picks everything up quite nicely. Um, now, the nice thing about this, it comes with a memory card. So there's a card right here. Uh, I forget the size of the card. But anyways, there's a card there. So you can record and take photos as well of whatever you're looking at. So that's good if you're, if you're actually in the business of uh, doing sewer inspections, you can, uh, you can record whatever you're doing and give the homeowner a copy. So that's really nice. There's another menu here for uh, adjusting your contrast and the time and all that kind of stuff. So. I don't think I need to go through that that all. That all is a really good quality. Um, down here in the corner, it's a little light. You might not pick up on it, but it's actually got the date and the time and everything right there. So that's really good if you are you know, in the business and, and need to record this for somebody. So basically what you're doing is whatever you're inspecting, you're just feeding this camera down that tube or the pipe or the hose or duct or whatever you're going into and uh, as well on the on the cable some units will actually show the distance that you've uh, gone on the screen this one doesn't but they do have the they do have and it's really hard to see but there is markings on the cable uh, this one's in meters uh, 40 inches and in a meter basically um, what i found is those are hard to find when you're actually you know you got it down the drain or whatever you're scoping and you're all of a sudden you're trying to see where this mark is. So what I did for a lot of this one is I put some extra marks all the way around the line here so I can quickly identify that oh, okay this is where I need to look for the for the distance marked on the cable. So that's just something I did. I don't know how long that's going to last with cleaning and handling and everything but that's what I did to to make it easier to find the oop, to find the, uh, the distance thing. So I'm just gonna turn this off, feed this all back in there. It feeds a little easier when I'm standing the, the right way, but. Um, so charger, yeah, I think I covered all the basics of, of what's included with this unit. Now my likes and dislikes. Like I, like I say to all these companies, you wanna send me out whatever, I'll have a look at it and if it makes a video or an article, I'm giving my honest opinion and I'm only giving that opinion after I've used it. So so these are my likes and my, and my dislikes. My likes, I like the screen. It's a really good quality, good size screen to be able to view whatever you're looking at. I like that it has the ability to record and take pictures. That's, that's awesome. Uh, it's fairly compact, you know, overall the unit, you know, considering this is 150 feet, uh, what is that, like 40 some meters, 45 meters, I just forget. Um, so it's, it's good length of coil and it's still fairly compact. So I like that. It's light. I don't know what the weight is, but it basically weighs nothing. Uh, camera quality is really good. So that's all good. Oh yeah, here's my other point. It's 45 meters, 150 feet. So it has a good length of cable. And they, they do have other models with longer and shorter cables. <coughs> my dislikes. Um, right underneath here, let me just close this up. Right underneath here, this little piece of cable that comes out of the frame, which comes from the, the camera unit, or from the uh, monitor unit, and then goes into this yellow cable, I just have a little bit of fear about this piece of cable. You know, you got it in the truck or whatever and that catches on something. It's not well protected, so uh, I think that could be a weak spot. Uh, so that's one of my dislikes. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, the markings on the cable for the distance are very hard to find and they're even when you find them, they're pretty faint. So um, I think over time those maybe will wear off a little bit and be even tougher to find. Uh, this clip, which kind of keeps this from turning when you're not using it. Sometimes I find when you're unspooling it, it wants to get caught up in here and it jams up and stuff. I kind of wish 
I don't know. I wish it was easier to take on and off and you could just set it off to the side, but um, I just find that it kind of gets in the way sometimes. I'm just going to clip this. Uh, so those are my basic dislikes. Um, you know, overall, uh, price-wise, for a comparable unit, I think, you know, they're pretty much on the money. And like I said, for just a normal homeowner, you maybe aren't going to go out and spend $700 for this type of thing. Or maybe you are. I, I don't know. Um, but there are some places now that are starting to rent these types of systems. So there's another option for you. This may be renting if it's available in your area. I think that's about all I can really say about the over, overview of what it is. Why don't we uh, take it inside and show you how I use it. Okay, we've just uh, moved inside to my own uh, personal basement. Um, I have in my house what is called non corrode sewer line. So back in the day, somebody had a smart idea that we're going to take some layers of cardboard, soak it in oil, and we're going to use that as a pipe. Uh, we're finding now, 50, 60 years later, <laughs> that in some soil conditions that really wasn't a great idea. So uh, in my house, I've got uh, cast pipe under the basement floor, under the house basically, but then it goes into this non corrode cardboard. And uh, so this is a thing I regularly have to do is have every year my sewer line uh, cleaned out because of tree roots. They've uh, found their way into some cracks or just busted their way through or whatever. And so it's just something regular maintenance we have done every year, at least once a year. Uh, so I've pulled the carpet back like I always do. I usually have somebody come in to, to do that. Um, and I probably will continue to do that. But now I can at least have a look uh, every now and again just to see how things are going down there but uh, my I'm basically at a clean out here so I'm at the exterior wall of my basement so this clean outs going down into the sewer and out to the street uh, I've never had an issue with anything else going back to the other plumbing in the floor here uh, I suppose now with the camera I could uh, investigate it someday myself but we always start right here because the problems always just outside uh, the basement that I have, uh, the problem I have is just outside usually all the time. Okay, so uh, find some kind of clean out or something where you can access and uh, check your, if you're, in our case we're doing the sewer, if you're doing that, that's, that's great. Uh, you're going to have a cap on there of some kind that you've got to pull off. So we'll just get this freed up. Oh, that wasn't even too bad. Okay, we'll get the cap out of the way. So I've got cast iron uh, right here and then it'll transition into the uh, non-corrode. So you notice I've got gloves on. I'm working with the sewer, so I've got gloves on. I've got some cleaning supplies here. Uh, those are the basic things I need. Now I need to uh, turn on the, the camera. Okay, uh, now if you're doing this for somebody as a business, it's always a good idea just to, uh, we're gonna hit record. can see it's changed the time and when flashing record up there uh, but what I was going to say if you're doing this as a business or whatever or somebody's paying you to, to provide a report or an inspection for them it's always a good idea just to take the camera when you first turn it on and just uh, just scan the room a little bit so they can tell right from the beginning that this is actually their home uh, you haven't just generically thrown some kind of uh, <laughs> video of a pipe that's in somebody else's house. So they know that this inspection is their home. Okay. So we've got the recording going. I've got things set up here. I, I think that you can kind of see everything that's going on. Uh, I've also got a tap running, just the cold water running, uh, just on low to allow a little bit of water draining in the pipe. And that just, just kind of helps, uh, do a couple things just gives a little bit of lubrication for the end of the camera as it's sliding along helps protect it maybe a little bit and the other thing I like about it is it gives us a reference to up or down sometimes when this feeds in there you know the camera spins around with the cable or whatever and then you kind of lose track of what's up or down at least if you got a bit of water trickling through there you always know where the bottom of the pipe is so so let's uh, I don't think there's anything else to really tell you about let's just give this a shot so if you watch in the camera here, we're going to start down the hole. Uh, it does have the lights on there, so I might be playing with that a little bit. 
there that's that's full blast right there it's given us a good good shot so far so we'll just continue to move down so now I'm just coming to the bottom of the Y and you can see the water trickling there um, in the bottom of the pipe like I said I ran just running a little bit of water looks like it's going to be enough so it's still cast iron right here I'll just let the camera get settled down in the bottom and get focused and this is where I was talking about this strap seems to get in the way it's I don't know what to do about that it's kind of a pain honestly so there we are you can see like I said the camera doesn't always orientate itself up and down so we can see this is the bottom of the of the pipe because we can tell where the water's flowing oh actually and I've got the camera there I needed to flip it over <laughs> I was looking back into the house there okay so we'll just maybe that's a little too much light for reflection we'll just continue on in there so you can see it, the water's at the top of the screen so this is the the top of the pipe that we're looking at and so far we're not seeing any obstructions or anything haven't found any joints or breaks and here you can see what we're coming up to here already and this is always my trouble spot like I was saying before where I get some roots and, and things and it's like four feet outside of the basement actually let's see what's it say here yeah I'm not even five feet outside of the of the basement and I can see we're coming up on to some roots already and I just had this done maybe eight months ago okay so we've got definitely got some roots already building that'll catch stuff and eventually starts to plug now I should be able to force my way through there we get through the roots and it's just that one spot so there's there's obviously a separation or a crack and I'll probably pretty much guarantee that's the transition from the cast iron in my case to the uh, non corrode pipe so now we're in the non corrode we've pushed our way through that bunch of uh, roots there and uh, I would suspect we're not going to find any other issues but let's just have a look as we get out there a little bit you can hear this silly thing like I wish this would just clip on and off easy because it's kind of a pain let's see if I can get that off quick get rid of that strap okay so we'll just keep continuing on down see if we see anything else out of the ordinary but I don't think we're going to in my case but you can see how easy it is to feed this cable in now that I've got rid of that strap oh, are we coming up to something else here oh here's another spot with a bit of weeds in it okay so we're out uh, where are we at here I'm at about uh, four meters so pretty much 15 to 20 feet out and I've got another little obstruction there so I probably should get the guy to come in and uh, just blast through that stuff well it's going to be really easy to take care of okay we'll continue down kind of just going quickly because there's nothing really to see you know you can kind of inspect your pipe as you're going sometimes if you're in ABS or maybe cast iron or whatever you might see where there's a connection and it's it's disjointed or it's come apart you know and it's kind of offset things like that you can you can easily see when you're checking it out with the camera I don't have anything like that I've just got some spots where the darn roots come right through so here we are here there's some kind of a different something different there you can tell there's a transition or a joint maybe in that uh, in that non corrode possibly the other thing I'm looking for especially in the non corrode is uh, where it's squashing down or, or kind of out of shape and this could be partly what we're sort of seeing there you're also looking for low spots in the pipe and when we're running water like this you'll see a low spot by telling that the water has gotten deeper right there and it's kind of pooling there a little bit so far I haven't noticed that it's it's been flowing pretty good the whole way not 
sure what's happening right there. You don't want to go out so far that you drop down into the city sewer because sometimes you get caught up with their connections and stuff and you can't get your camera back and then you've lost the camera. Okay, everything's looking good. We still just have a nice trickle. I haven't noticed any pools yet. Actually right there it's a little bit shallower so maybe the bottom of the pipe is pushed up just a little bit. I've got full lighting on so it's honestly looking pretty good. And right there we might be, what are we coming up on here? Let's see what we got for distance. 12 meters. Uh, so we're at about, just about 40 feet. So I'm coming close to being at my city sewer there right now. So I'm not going to bother going any further. I don't want to take the chance of dropping off the end. Everything looks pretty good except for those couple spots where we've got some, definitely got some roots in there. Um, so now when I call my guy to come and, and clean that out with his system, I can kind of tell him, well, we've got that spot we always have that's just a few feet out of the basement here. And then, uh, that other area, I think that was at around six meters or something. So he has a bit of an idea where he's going to run into an obstruction. So now because we're using this down the, down the sewer, it's always a good idea to use some wipes just to kind of clean the cable as you're reeling it back in. Okay, so normally you can just feed yourself back in. I don't normally have it up on this stool, so that might be a little bit of an issue here. But we'll get it, uh, we'll get it feeding back in. I'm just cleaning the cable as we go so it spools all back on there. I'm using disinfectant wipes in my case because you just never know where I'm going to use this next. Once I've used it in a sewer, I'd never use it in any kind of drinking water situation, obviously, but just in case, but. I'm just finding it's uh, wanting to slide off the stool I put it up on here. I just put it up higher so you guys could see what was going on and it's wanting to slide around. There we go. So I'm pulling back out. Okay, there was our one, our farther out root spot. I just want to see, see this is what I was saying about one of my dislikes. It's hard to find those measurements. So I've got it marked, got the, the cable marked here. And even then I'm having trouble finding the, here it is. So that's at about four meters out. I was just curious so I could tell the guy who's going to do the cleaning where to expect to see that. just about out of there. There's the other spot. And the camera's almost up there. Getting ready to come out the, out the top here. There we are. We're back in the house. Okay, so we'll just wipe that off here quick. End of that camera. Okay, well we got that, that all wrapped up. Hopefully that explained what we had to do and we'll do our video wrap up. So as you see, a sewer inspection camera, well, I shouldn't even say sewer, an inspection camera it could be a very handy tool for a lot of different things. Uh, I think you'd noticed how easy it was to use uh, in the situation we just showed you, inspecting that, that sewer. Um, it's got lots of good features, this particular one. You know, it, it might be one of those things that a guy just needs to have in his arsenal. So I'm kind of glad I've got it now. And uh, the more and more I use it, the, the more I like it. So anyways, uh, as always, please click the subscribe button if you've never had before. It's right down there. Take a look, click that. While your finger's right there, click the thumbs up. That helps us out a lot. 
And uh, also, a lot of people don't realize that down in the description right below here, there's just a couple lines you'll see and it, it says uh, description or says open or something. Click that because in there we'll have some links to some of our other stuff, forum and that sort of thing. And as well, we'll throw a Amazon affiliate link in for uh, inspection cameras down there. Thanks a lot for watching.